up humanities. Okay, here we are about probably halfway through our uh, religion unit. So, so far at this point, we're getting close to covering up the Western or covering the finishing up the Western religions. Uh, remember, Western religions kind of come out of Judaism, which we've covered Judaism and Christianity so far. Next week, we're going to spend some time looking at uh, the religion of Islam. Uh, now, remember, those three uh, big kind of, uh, you know, well-known world religions all take root in Judaism. Uh, they all have like the same origin story. In Christianity, it would be, we're talking about the Old Testament. Uh, if we're looking at it from a Jewish perspective, the Old Testament and their holy book, the Torah, are pretty darn close from what I know about it. Now, I'm not a religious scholar, but essentially uh, like the stories of, of Genesis, where it's like God created the earth in seven days and there was Adam and Eve and Eve eats out of the serpent or the devil uh, convinces her to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And OK, most of you are probably a little familiar with that story or like Noah and the ark or Moses leading the Jews out of bondage and slavery in Israel. Those stories, the three, those three big religions all kind of share those and have them in common. Uh, now, I thought an interesting little project for you guys to do uh, would be to cover at least two old, like, Bible stories from the Western religions. Uh, two of the, the like, kind of old school ancient stories. Uh, now, you could pick, like, Jesus, the story of Jesus or the story of Muhammad, uh, you know, but it really could be you can focus on any one of these religions. Also, keep in mind, too, I'm not trying to push religion on any of you or saying that you have to believe any of these stories. Uh, but I do think, I 100% believe this, that you are a better, more well-rounded person if you just kind of know those foundational stories from the Western religions, because whether you believe them or not, it doesn't really matter uh, whether they actually happened or not. Also, from my perspective, it doesn't really matter. The thing is, a lot of people through much of history have believed that they're real and they did happen. And, and whether they did or not, either way, uh, those stories are kind of ubiquitous in our culture, meaning like you can see them everywhere if you realize, uh, if you know them. Uh, now, if you don't, if you're not aware of any of these stories and you've never studied any of the, you know, like kind of Old Testament style stories, You'll see them referenced in pop culture things. It might be a song. It might be a movie. It might be an episode of Family Guy. Uh, and it'll just go right over your head. You won't make the connection. But once you start to know some of these older stories, like the ones I listed, like Adam and Eve or Noah and the Ark, Moses, uh, Daniel and the Lion's Den, David and Goliath. Once you start to know some of those stories and, and have studied them and just kind of have the basic idea of what happened, you'll make that connection all the time, uh, just going through your daily life, going through the world today, because those old stories get referenced an awful lot. Uh, so that kind of speaks to why I think it makes you a more well-rounded person. Now, in my personal life, I've, I've already told you I'm kind of an agnostic, so I'm not pushing religion on you. Or if you believe religion, I'm not telling you not to, to, to be an atheist. I, I don't care what you believe. Uh, I'm just hoping that you critically think about it, uh, that you become a more well-rounded person, that you consider this. And I I think it's a really interesting topic all around. And all I'm asking you to do with this assignment is kind of learn some of the stories, do a little digging and research, and you're going to have the option here. Uh, you can either follow the prompts that I'll provide and you can do a, a written summary of two of these old Western kind of religion foundational stories. So you, you'll be able to do a typed up written response or you'll be able to do a recording response, which is kind of what I'd recommend. Uh, now, you don't have to go. There, there's not really going to be a length or a time requirement. Essentially, what I want you to do is cover any story that you pick, uh, cover it in a good way and sum it up. I'd also say try to push your limits a little bit. Uh, don't go cover a story that you already know really well. Pick one that you don't or pick two that you're required to do too. Pick two that you don't know very well where you actually have to do a little bit of research. Uh, now, I'm also going to list off a bunch of like pre-approved stories that you could go dig into. Anyone that'll be on the list, uh, which I've mentioned a few of them, will have a plethora of information on them. Uh, you will be able to find, I don't know, countless, uh, you know, YouTube videos and articles and, you know, resources online to go learn about it. And if you, uh, 
hey, it, 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 if you want to go directly to the source, you can also always go track down a Bible or a Torah or a Quran, which is the Islamic holy book. Go find one of these books. And uh, I would imagine you wouldn't have too much trouble locating them because like the Bible has been the most printed book in all of human history. Uh, and then the Quran and the Torah, they're pretty far up on the list too. Uh, a lot of copies of them floating around. And of course, now you can just find it online, you know, for free. Uh, so do a little bit of digging, do a little bit of research. Um, I know I, I tell my own kids, even though, hey, I'm an agnostic, but I kind of grew up going going to Sunday school and learning these stories. And I feel like I've been better off for it. Uh, I let my kids go to, to church all the time with my parents. Uh, they do go to Sunday school. Uh, I don't want them like necessarily being preached to and indoctrinated and having this stuff forced on them. Uh, but I talk to them at home too. And I've told them from day one, and I would say the same thing to all of you. Whether you believe that these stories happened or not, or there is a God or isn't a God, that's a personal decision. Everybody has to make that decision and think about that uh, in their own life and, and do what's right for them. Look at the evidence. Go be a knowledgeable person about it. The more facts and the more information you can learn, the better. Uh, and then use your brain and make your own decision for, for yourself what you want to believe. Uh, so just again, I, I mean, religion can be a touchy subject in public schools, but I'm not telling you you have to believe any of this. What I'm asking you to do is go learn some of these stories uh, and maybe they're factual. Maybe they really happen. Maybe they're mythology and just made up. I don't care. Uh, but I want you to do kind of a retelling of two uh, good like Old Testament Bible stories or it could be from the Torah or the Quran. Uh, but two of those foundational stories two stories from the foundations of Western religion, okay? Uh, and I will list some off for, me, for you and you can pick any two on the list. Um, if you have questions about this assignment, just hit me up, shoot me an email. I'm happy to sit down and chat with you uh, and help you out in any way. I would recommend again that you do a, a recording for me on YouTube or whatever, do two separate kind of short recordings where you're gonna sum up these Bible stories uh, or old old timey religion stories or uh if you prefer you can type it up and i'll just grade you that way all right take care let me know if you have any questions